Hi, I'm Buddha, and you're watching Dr. Guitar. This is a show for all the guitarists out there where I share all the knowledge I've acquired in this 20 plus years of being a guitar player. I've been so, really so inspired by so many great YouTube shows like That Pedal Show. I watch it every episode. Uh, Pensado's Place. Uh, Creative Sound Labs, Produce Like a Pro, uh, Schnobel, a bunch of, of shows uh, on YouTube. And I've been so so very inspired by, by all those shows. I love the, 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 the sharing concept of it. And I, want, I wanted to humbly share some things I've learned along the way. So today's show is about microphones knowing the microphone. We guitarists spend thousands of euros or dollars for you American guys uh, and buying guitars, amps, changing strings, capacitors, uh, resistors, tubes on the amp, uh, speakers, pickups, cables, pedals, whatever. A lot of money and time is spent searching for the right tone. And when you go to the studio, or to a live performance, you just don't care where they put the mic, which mic they use. You let the sound guys choose the mic for you. Why? Don't you know what sound should be out there? That's a part of your sound too. When you're playing live or when you're recording, you are playing not to yourself, you're playing to other people. You only play to yourself when you're at home, alone. Whenever there's people in the room or people listening to your recordings, you're playing to them. So it matters what, what they hear. I think it's pretty obvious. Well, the microphone is the, listen, the listener's ears. What the mic listens, it's what the audience will listen to. And where the mic is, is it means really, really, really much. I care a lot of, about, about my tone, so I have my own mic. I, I, my, my preferred mic is this Biodynamic um, M160. It's a ribbon mic, uh, and it's the one that translates the best the, my guitar tone. I started noticing this issue, this 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 thing of the microphone, when I started using in ear for in ear for for the monitors. Uh, I sing, so I started using in ear because I was uh, getting a lot of feedback in stage, uh, a lot of um, crappy monitors, and the vocal war was was always uh, crapping out. So I started using in ear, but as soon as I put the in ear. I lost the guitar, so I had to put the guitar in the, in the monitors, in the in-ears. And then I noticed, what a crappy sound this is, is this? Oh, this is a Shure SM57, put, put it uh, somewhere in the amp. And then I started searching for the right mic, the right position, the right place for the mic. And that's when I found the, the Biodynamic M160. This is the perfect mic f for me to have on my in-ears. Exactly my sound. I'm not saying you should have this mic. I'm saying you should know which mic is is good for you because we all have different tastes and, and different uh, feelings about the mics. This show, today's show, is about the mics. I've done um, several recordings with playing just a G major chord in my trusty Nags Chop Tank. And 
I, I've recorded it with this, the M160, the Audix i5, the Sennheiser 421, the vintage one, the 441, also a vintage one, and the 906, a new one. Uh, the SM57, but I use the Granelli Audio Labs, which is a regular SM57 with the right angle. I think it sounds a bit fatter than, than a, a regular SM57, but it's kind of the same. And I will let you hear the, the difference between the, the, the guitar changes. The guitar part is very simple, so you don't get distracted with, with the guitar playing. It's just a G major chord. Because G major is very rich harmonically, so you will notice all the nuances, the different nuances in, in the different mics. I hope you enjoy this video, so please leave the comments below, subscribe to this channel please. It's very important to, to, to have a growing community. And please let me know if you are interested in me doing uh, other kinds of videos. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoy this show. Don't forget to watch Dr. Guitar.